Hello, welcome to Tuko Interviews and today I'm in County 022 and of course I am with Governor 022, um, the Governor of Kiambu, William Kafoba. How are you sir? Very well indeed. Yeah. Mm. You're doing well? Ah, to not get it, yeah, I heard you were walking around and, uh, and you were a bit exhausted. No, 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 I was yeah. not exhausted. I do a lot of sports, yeah. but uh, I was not dressed for walking. Mm -hmm. But finally, I got myself to walk about three kilometers or four. You've handed papers uh, well. Yes, we have. And, yeah, uh, we are done with it. Mm -hmm. So now it's the next uh, next move. Yeah. But I noticed something very interesting. Oh, what is it? The guys who are facilitating or who are uh, invigilating or um, helping Jubilee with nominations mm -hmm. are from IABC. And I've yeah. seen them participating in IBC preparations for the elections. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I have raised the alarm. Mm -hmm. I have written as the chair of the Independent Candidates uh, 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 Alliance. And I have said to the chairman, you cannot have handed people to Jubilee to help them in the elections. Of course, it was not for free. These guys were remunerated. So at some point, they were paid by Jubilee. How then can they be... Uh, say to be uh, 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 able to run a free and fair election without a bias. So um, I'm hoping they will be removed from invigilating uh, uh, the elections. Yeah, otherwise, let's, otherwise mm -hmm. that is not nice. Yeah, let's, let, let's hope that uh, will be taken into account. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, you appear to have considered uh, defeat. Uh, uh, I like after. the word appeared. I want I, to be very exact. I, did, I want I to did, be exact. I yeah. did not. Yeah, well, I, did. I, I choose. I choose my at words. About five well. o'clock. <laughs> at about five o'clock. Yes, and and uh, and later on, day. later on, you 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 bounced back uh, with another announcement yes. that actually you're going to run for this yes. uh, seat as an independent candidate. What what informed that? Actually, what happened is um, one. I don't want to look like a crying baby uh, about nominations because that's uh, water under the bridge. I started getting delegations of very many people saying we have evidence, clips I can share with you, people marking ballots in homes the previous night. Uh, we have these people who are doing this, they've given us the evidence. We have people, young men, who are saying uh, you needed to vote once and get paid 200. You vote again, another 200. You vote again, another 200. And when all these people came with all these stories and they said, even if, even if, for instance, assuming what they're saying is correct, that, um, you know, 450,000 people voted, you still have another 800,000. Kimbu has one over point, 1 million. 1 yeah. Interestingly, Nairobi voted 220,000. First day. Uh -huh. Ours was the second trial. The first day on Friday, it aborted. I don't want to tell you why. <laughs> you can feel for yourself. Ah, yeah. The gaps, because, uh, the gaps. because you've said in the previous, in uh, previous interview. <laughs> you know, with second time on Tuesday, they are saying we voted. 375 plus 70. 440, 450, 450,000 out of 1.2. Nairobi voted 220 out of 2.3. Nairobi is popular than, than uh, 2.3 yeah. million people yeah. registered, but they voted only 220. That's about 9 point something. I said call a, it 10. There's a discrepancy. Call, call it 10. Give Kiambu 10%. If Nairobi is anything to go by, uh, give it 10%. So, so you're we to say probably that voted 120. You're trying to say that uh, it's not very normal, <laughs> it's not normal for, at all. for Kiambu to why turn Kiambu? out. Why? A higher turnout why, in Kiambu why, than why? in Nairobi. Why? Yeah. What is so unique? We're in the same environment, we're in the same region, the people are the same, they work across everywhere. I probably think you should have a better turnout in Nairobi. It's geographically more uh, uh, um, concentrated, right? But if you assume plus or minus, 5%. Call it 10%. It's 120,000. So 120, uh -huh. they gave me 70. What is the difference? 50. So where did he get 374 for? Then, is how it, do you uh, vote? Uh -huh. How do you vote 374 for governor 
but all MPs put together is 150. So some of these, uh, so what where you're telling extra, me... Are you telling that me that some, some people <laughs> came out to vote for governor they like so much and they didn't vote for MP or MCA? Will I be correct if I say that <laughs> some of these things that you're telling me <laughs> informed the decision for you to run, now to defend this company? This, this is what people are telling me. So I'm like, okay. So two reasons brought me back. One, that there wasn't any nominations as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. Let me just say the list. And I say this is water under the bridge. I'm not crying for anyone to help me with anything. You've moved on. I moved on. Yeah. Uh, so that is uh, uh, the issue of no nomination and the issue of the balance of the people. And again, I want everybody to go and vote. Why? Because I believe in the transformational agenda of the old Kenyan. And I think he deserves another term. All right, let's go to what uh, you've done. Um, I. I heard you say in another interview that you, you the, that seventy percent of the promises you you made fulfilled. in your manifesto fulfilled. are fulfilled. Kabisa. What are these promises? Can you, can one, you tell us what you've done? One you was to make uh, 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 Kambu a working county. It is a working county. Two. Was what are to, the indicators to show that's where that I'm going? Yeah, yeah. Two, it's a working county because very many young men and women, mothers persons with disabilities who would never have gotten access to credit, we've been able to give them 400 million shillings revolving that is being repaid at a rate of about 95%. And these are people who are doing business. So would you say it's a working county? It is a working county. There's no other county that has this fund. And this was in my one and a half years into government. We had already done, a, a, not a cabinet paper, a bill. So it's done by an act of the assembly. Uh, three, we have the best hospitals in the Republic. When you get sick and you're anywhere near Kambu, do not look for an ambulance to take you to Kenyatta or to take you to Aga Khan. Can you mention uh, some? Just uh, go to Kambu Hospital. So that they know, they know that actually Kambu these hospital. hospitals. Are there. If you are within and near the bypass here, don't run to Kambu or Nairobi Aga Khan. Just go to Gashi. You know Gashi? I know Kehara Gashi. Hospital. I know Gashi. Kehara Hospital. Mm -hmm. And equal to Kambu Hospital. If you have a patient anywhere within Kambu and they are sick, they need to be evacuated from wherever they are to a hospital. We have, a, we have 14 state-of-the-art ambulances. State-of-the-art, meaning you're in an ICU. If you get yourself to the ambulance, you're just as good as in, in a HDU. I must we are doing four new level four hospitals, four new ones. One in Kerenga, Nari. There's no hospital between Naivasha and Nairobi. That's the first one. The other one is Kejabi Mission Hospital, where people have to pay. We have Kabete, Wangige Hospital, 200 bed. We have Tigoni in Limuru, another 200 bed. Three story building, almost 60% complete. We have Bogoto in Kikui, a new hospital. To surprise you, we have a new mother-child care hospital, a reproductive health unit in Thika, six floors, 95% complete. We are opening it this month. 375 beds. Tell me where else in Kenya. If I want to tell you about our projects, even five hours are not enough. We have 1,840 something projects. 70% of them complete. You know, moving on. Uh, um, you, you, we are on you, roads. We have tarmacked a road from uh, Kiambu town to Githunguri town. Uh, we oh, have never talking about roads. Talking about roads. Um, 1, how 000, many kilometers have you done? 1,700 kilometers of gravel road. Can people attest to that? Yes, they can. You need just to go to the villages. That, that's why I'm telling you, my opponents don't speak. Don't speak development. They, they will not touch. Because the last I heard them speak from Githungori Stadium, they were saying, Haki, Hakuna Maendeleo, Imefanyu Ahapa, and they have gone through Tamak, done by us. Githungori town is being Tamak. That Some, stadium, sometimes it, that I feel stadium like, itself yeah. is in the process of being carpeted. Sometimes Carpet. I feel you people should always, uh, we should have a uh, governor's debate, so we see. They will not come. You we can, have gone. They can Jeff question Koinange you, you us. can question. Jeff yes. Koinange called us. Yes, now call them, even Tuko, they come for interview. And they should send the governor candidate. Don't send me other people. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you want to send a deputy? Send to my deputy. Bring me the governor. You you sure you yeah, can yeah, tackle ah, each other? What, you my know. friend? You know he will only come to Inoro. <laughs> Inoro TV. That's the only place he can come to. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I I'm will getting ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so moving on, your rival speaks at several public events as if um, the deal is done. Do you start a chance? Is the deal done? My friend. Only him can speak like that. And that's the least I want to say. Only him can speak like that. The elections have not been done, have they? Not yet, not The yet. elections are on the 8th. Elections. Not the other thing they did. Elections. On the 8th. And when you say the other thing they did, people want to say, are you not thinking that you are speaking against the president? I'm saying no. The president was in State House or in Nairobi. He was not in uh, Kamangi. Those guys who they delegated to do uh, uh, free, free and fair nominations, they did symbolic nominations. Now today, and today, it's yeah. not only Kabogo saying it. Yes. I'm telling you, you know, even you from Tuko, you have heard people saying, when I show you the clips and they will appear soon on mainstream media, how will they say how? You, you should give us the clips. I'll give it to you. Yeah, because yes. we, we should You even it need to interview young men and women in the streets in Kambo. And they'll tell you, we voted 20 times. Why? We got money. So, Believe so, you me, so, if you left yes. me in a voting room alone, I will not put more than one ballot. I will not <laughs> cast a not You're more sure than one. That. I am telling you 100%. Yeah. Why? Because I'm not looking for a job. I am not looking for a job. I'm looking to make this country a better place to live in. Now, so we about, must be proud about, about your, where your, we your were. Your closest rival, uh, yes. Ferdinand Twaititu. Yes. Um, can you put it straight here? What is the issue between the two of you? Nothing. Is it deep rooted? Is it, no. is it personal? No, nothing. Why we is have, it sometimes have nothing, it appears we have like nothing it's in quite common. personal? Yes. We have nothing in common. We have not had any interactions between myself and him before on issues uh, 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 politics. Uh, just that his style is different. His style is not my style. So you people, they talk about we... people insulting. I insult the women. I have this nowhere, nowhere on record. I have ever insulted anyone. So what every that? Where day, did that come from? Every, they can only thrive on propaganda. They can't touch development, so they have to look for something else. How did they, it make they, you feel? You know, when uh, all this uh, is going on. Well, if it was. If it was gentlemen, you know, no more people saying these things, it would be very painful. But being him, it is expected. Yes, it is expected. His mannerism is that is of that type. So, so we can not say strange. nothing personal between the nothing, two. Nothing. It's just politics. Nothing. The politics will come and go. It will come and people go. People shouldn't fight. No. For and the two of you. If you are waiting for the fight, come over the old one would have done those things. But now I am, <laughs> I am I'm very mature in terms of politics. Yes. I am now, uh, I'm not village material. There's yeah. a bit of alcoholism <laughs> happening. Uh, There's a lot, in, yes. In, not in, a bit. There's in, a lot. Uh, yes. Mm. And how are you tackling that? Because it reached a point that the places idea, you go to, it, uh, you don't even find is, children. The idea is not to deal with the symptoms. By running to close bars, they will still go to the river and find Chang'a and these other things. The root cause of poverty, the root cause of them wanting that Shilingikumi thing is because of unemployment. Even the root cause of insecurity is not the, the, the resultant or the remedy. Uh, the remedy for insecurity and alcoholism and all these abuses is tackling unemployment. What have we done uh, to That's why we started that, the Biashara yes. Fund. That's why we knew that not everyone will get a job. As, as, as a county, we are cutting down on jobs so that we have, we have a lean and efficient public service. But we have a fund that we want to give to those who we want to retire so that they can go and do business. 100,000 go and open a case. We've actually reduced, uh, uh, we have split a uh, 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 Biashara Fund into two. We have now the mainstream Biashara Fund where you get 100 to 500,000 shillings and we have started mobile Biashara. You can apply on your phone, online, even now. And in two hours, you will get between five and 15,000 shillings if you are a Mali Mali guy. 
meaning tunaweza kukuamua wewe okoa jahazi <laughs> okoa tunaokoa jahazi you know what no. i'm saying no, that's it. that is in agriculture yeah. we have right. gone to ecd education we have gone to you know we are touching agriculture the serious business not only quail farming fish farming we had the first symposium east and south east and southern sahara on aquaculture we sponsored a jaikwad ourselves as a county and that did not mean Ke uh, uh, kambu only not kenya only east africa now this is almost turned into uh, a, a campaign now <laughs> uh, no 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 i'm saying you ask me what yeah. we have done all right all right i'm yeah, telling yeah. you yeah. i told you you need 5 hours all right for me to speak about our projects yeah. 5 hours it's but we not do, enough. we do not have 5 so let's yes. let's continue if um, you enter thicker the, now yeah. mm -hmm. it's dual carriage in and out that's done by my government you go to the hospital and you will also do a come in to join A3 to Garissa, done by the county government. Even where uh, this uh, my tutor and Alice did a road the other day, it is because they heard me saying we are doing a new road to decongest thicker also from Blue Post. And let me surprise you, that road was being done jointly by the county government and the business people of Thika. Where did you hear businessmen give government money for infrastructure development? Why? Because they have faith in what we are doing. They have seen we are worth supporting. And soon, I have pendekezat that in the National Assembly they should pass a bill that allows Kenyans to spend their money on you know, public infrastructure development and it be allowed for tax uh, 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 expenditure. Um, I don't know whether if you ask our opponents, whether they understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What am no, I no, trying to say? No, no. I'm trying to say yes. you can encourage businessmen and Kenyans, the private sector, to participate in infrastructure development and get it allowed as an expenditure in income tax. That is spending tax at source. And I, I whispered this to the president and he was very excited. I think you put that uh, clearly. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's clear enough.